standing alone in a green meadow, I hear the background music of a small bubbling brook. The water has a greenish tint from the green grass and a roar of its own in the quietness of this meadow's content. I watch as the morning sun rises above the snow-capped mountains and the trees as if it were king sitting upon a throne of gold. Here by the meadow I stay until the day turns to night and the stars acting as guides show me the way through the castle corridors of the fir and pine trees to my bed where I will stay until it is again day and the king is again perched upon his throne wearing garments of gold. But I digress. The real truth is right from the start there were plenty of us that soundlessly shot our bolts out there. But most were cooked in the lead fumes of mercury. Wiped out in the oil swamps of Venus, even on Mars, we were woofed by the sun's thundering radioactive yellow. Jupiter stank, an arrow swift rotary methane mesh, and he, the Almighty, slung over us until we spewed up our guts over Ganymede. What came next? A waste of breath. Uranus, Neptune, grayish green, frozen to death over Pluto, and trans-Pluto came the final dirty jokes. We had long since mistaken the sun for Cyrus, Cyrus for cannabis. Outcast, we cast out up into the deep toward a few white stars. We never reached anyhow. Long since mummied in our spacecraft, caked with filth, in our death heads, no more memories of breathing earth.